from San Francisco's fabulous Fillmore, HBO presents One Night Stand, starring Kevin Meany. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kevin. you folks. <laughs> Hell Satan, everybody. How are you? <laughs> Thank you very much. My name is Kevin Meany. Thinking about changing my first name to Eeny. Thank you very much. <laughs> Eeny Meany, figure it out for yourselves, folks. Uh, parents' names are Miney and Moe. <laughs> have a gay brother by the name of Weenie Meany. And I have an Aunt Jeannie. She lives in the bottle. Good night, everybody. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm not getting off with the Eeny Meeny jokes. What's wrong with you people? Are you insane? Thank you very much. My name is Kevin Meeny. God, my eye! <laughs> Gonna poke my eye out! I don't believe it! If my mother was here, that's what she'd be saying. You're doing that on purpose. Taking the microphone, poking your eye out. That's not right. You're like a crazy person. <laughs> getting on stage, poking your eye out. The other comedians aren't poking their eyes out. Why do you have to do things like that? Why do you do this to your father and I? You're like a mental case on stage. Taking the microphone, poking your eye out. You know, one of these days, you are going to poke your eye out. One of your crazy comedian friends is going to put a needle in that microphone. Then it's going to be real funny, isn't it? Walking around with one eye. Ah, oh, that's not right. I don't think you want to see. You probably have your one eye jokes already written. <laughs> Anything in my house could poke an eye out when I was a kid. Be passing pizza across the table. You're going to take your brother's eye out with that slice. <laughs> now put your goggles on and go to bed. And stop rolling around up there. Rolling all night. You're like a freak. Rolling. Your brothers don't roll. Your boss doesn't roll. You're like a mental case in the bed. All night long, rolling, rolling, roll. You're gonna fall out of that bed and poke your eye out. It's 9.30 p.m. Do you know where the kids are? Crash, 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 crash. Don't worry about me. I mean, I'm only crashing your head. Oh, I feel good. It's good to be here in San Francisco. How are you folks doing? Stop applauding. What do you applaud? He'll just continue if you keep applauding. Oh, I've been working out. This is your shirt fat right here. It's really not me. I've been doing the Fonda workout, uh, Peter Fonda workout. That's where I wake up in the morning, take a head of acid. <laughs> Smoke a joint, go over to my sister's house, ask her for money. <laughs> and for you young people out there, I'm just talking about the drugs for the comedy, okay? I'm not saying go out and do drugs, but people do. They go out and they take drugs and they take crack, and they do things on crack. They go out and they go out and they, do, they go out to see shows. <laughs> they come out and they come out to comedy shows on crack. What's wrong with you people? You're smoking it, mister. All night long smoking crack in your room. That's not right. Up there with a big puss on your face. With the tight pants on. Rolling around in the bed on the crack. That's not right. You're gonna burn the house down. Speaking of burning the house down, my father was a fireman. <laughs> they never wanted me to follow in his footsteps. Uh, they actually wanted me to be a uh, singer. They did. They wanted me to be a Las Vegas singer. They told me I looked like Wayne Newton when I was a kid. They did. You know, you look just like that Wayne Newton. I don't look anything like Wayne Newton. It's a donka shame. <laughs> I had the Wayne Newton lunchbox with the thermos and the portable microphone. My mother would come to my room late at night, paint a thin mustache above my upper lip. <laughs> but I'd be a good singer, though. I'd be like the Newt, you know? Singing everybody else's hits. God, I can just imagine being in Las Vegas, just like the new, singing the hits. You 
don't have to take your clothes off to have a good time. Oh, yeah. You don't have to take your clothes off to have a good time. Oh, yeah. How you folks doing tonight? Good to see ya. What's your name, ma'am? How are ya? Julie. Good to see ya. I love your sex. I love your sex. And talking about Madonna, I love her, huh? Isn't she super? Like a virgin. Touch for the very first time. And you know, you're all virgins tonight, you know what I mean? Good for absolutely not a say it again war uh what is it good for I don't know give me some more I'm on that free way of love in my pink Cadillac come on baby on that free way of love I can't get by And you woo-woo-woo, you're making me work. And you woo-woo-woo, and you woo-woo-woo, all night. And you woo-woo-woo, and you woo-woo-woo. Thank you, Eddie. And you woo-woo-woo. We gotta fight for our right to party. Thank you. Thank you. How many people want to beat me up right now? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Actually, I almost got beat up at Jack in the Box the other day. Went there, ordered myself a hamburger. The woman behind the counter asked me if I wanted any Jack sauce on it. <laughs> I said, Jack sauce? Exactly what is the Jack sauce, ma'am? She tells me in secret. I said, you can hold that Jack sauce. No, thanks. Some guy comes out of the back. I make the Jack sauce. Why do you do things like that? Making Jack sauce. That's not right. One way or another, you are going to lose your eyesight. You're like a crazy person back there. In the heat, making jack sauce. Sorry, I had a little phlegm there. Excuse me. I like to go to nice restaurants, though. Restaurants where I can bring a woman. You know, nothing wrong with that. I know what to talk about, too, when I go to a restaurant. Because I was in the food services industry, you know. I know what to talk about the plate presentation, the, bre the beverages, you know, and the hot plate problem. You know what I'm talking about there, don't you? The waiter always come up to you. That's a hot plate, sir. Hot plate, ma'am. As soon as the waiter leaves the table, your hands go directly to the plate. <laughs> you hear people all throughout the restaurant. <laughs> all these waiters are wearing these big oven mitts on their hands, you know? There's always that one waiter that doesn't wear them, you know? How come you don't wear them? Because I'm not from this planet. <laughs> Why do you go to these restaurants? Crazy restaurants with hot plates. Tables bursting into flames. Places where you can smell the skin burning. That's not right. And a K on your TV screen! Whose line is it anyway? Where the mob rules the show and forces the contestants to act out their every demand. The first suggestion is two flies on a date. Would you, uh, care for any more turd? You got four contestants, some English guy named Clive, and the crowd in charge. It's comedy chaos. I'm feeling terribly lazy today. Why don't, would you pick my nose for me? Watch the bloody anarchy of food. Why is it anyway? Weeknights at 11.30 only at Comedy Central. My mother still has a beehive, so ceiling with this thing, it's so big. I'll get that for you, darling. <laughs> Always wrapping her hair in toilet paper, you know, protecting it from dust. There's never any toilet paper in the bathroom. Mom, could you stand there and spin, please? <laughs> My Aunt Mary has the big beehive in the family because she's the oldest, you know. 
The older the meanie, the bigger the hive. You know that. <laughs> she's in her 80s now. She freezes food. Old people like to freeze food. I go over to the house. She's always trying to feed me. Kevin, would you like a piece of pie? I'd love to have a piece of pie. Thanks. I'm right in the middle of it. You know, I put that pie in the freezer back in 1965. Mmm. <laughs> How many black houses does that go through? <laughs> She's still driving, too. In her 80s, she still drives. You know, I don't believe it. People are terrified of her in the neighborhood. Little kids, she comes into the cul-de-sac about 75 miles an hour. Kids scattering from one side of the road to the other. Ah! Here comes Aunt Mary! All you see on the front of her grill are like big wheels and tricycles just smashed up there. There's her car right back there. Look out! Here comes Aunt Mary! All the kids are giving her the finger. All she does is wave. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Starting to sweat now, so my moose is reactivating. I don't know if you realize that. Oh. My parents were crazy. They were always worried when we were kids when company would come over. My mother would always worry that we'd say the wrong thing, you know? Always. Okay, now listen, kids. Mr. Denty's coming over tonight. He's a good friend of your father's. He just got back from Sweden, and he had a sex change operation. I don't want any of you kids saying anything that he's a woman. You have to say something to tell him how pretty he looks. What are we supposed to call him? I don't know what you're supposed to call him. Just say hello and get up to your room and get those tight pants off. Don't be walking around the house with a big puss on your face when he's here. <laughs> they were crazy. I'd love to go see them around Christmas. It's always fun, you know. Always fun to see them around the holidays. Last year, I brought home this woman, a good friend of mine, 300-pound black woman. She went, walked right up to my mother. You know, Kevin, she's got a real big Johnson. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you, Dewana. <laughs> John, she's here. <laughs> John! John! <laughs> Thanks for spending the holidays with us. <laughs> Oh, boy. I've been driving around the city. You ever notice things on the side of the road while you drive? Be driving along, see a shoe just laying out there, you know? Figure maybe some guy on his way to work. You know, I'm not going to wear my left shoe today. Going to toss that baby right out the window. <laughs> see what the boss says about that. You even see that downtown, see a pair of pants on the sidewalk. A tight pair of pants. <laughs> I told you to take those things off. Going into work with tight pants on. That's not right. People in camouflage pants. You ever see them? No, you can't see them. They're camouflaged. <laughs> They're walking around. Nobody sees me. I'm camouflage man. Ah! <laughs> so this car painted with camouflage paint. Just to prove a point, I ran into it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> camouflage are in zeal. I don't drive that much. I have a jet pack. <laughs> Pop in on Housewives to see if the wrapping thing's fresh. <laughs> I did drive cross country once, though. Anybody ever do that? I drive, I drove cross country. Really got to see the country. Notice that there's no dotted lines between the states. <laughs> also, Kansas is not pink. <laughs> These are map jokes. Get thee behind me, audience. Comics only is two. And plus, they're really good with some garlic. You fillet them right. One couch. When a woman's depressed, she thinks. Oh, I'm fat. Then when a guy's depressed, he thinks, Dan, my girlfriend's fat. <laughs> what do you get when stand-ups sit down? I never know what to say at a funeral. I always walk up to the widow and go, Oh, you know, in a couple years, we're going to laugh. You know, I never 30 know. minutes of comedy disguised as a talk show. Watch Comics Only next here at Comedy Central. Check cash. Hold on, the bus is here. Hold on, folks. Wait a minute. 
Wait a minute. Come on, open up. Come on, open up. One more time. I'll give you a dollar. Come on. Open the door up. I want to get out of here. How are you? This is the last time I'm coming on the bus. Buddy. How are you tonight? You are the happiest guy in the world. Wait to everybody. Come on, folks. How are you, ladies? I'm Mike Wallace from 60 Minutes. You have heard of me, haven't you? Do you care? You do care. Well, the theme tonight is We Don't Care. Okay. All right, everybody. Look at that beautiful hair back there, huh? All right, we're on our way out. Okay, folks, come on. Hold on. Hello. How are you? Come on over here. Hi. What's your name? John Wheat. John Wheat? How do you say that? Uh, John Wheat. How do you say that mean in English? Uh, I don't know. You don't know. You know what it means? Good person. Nice guy. Are you drinking and driving? Are you on crack? Probably taking crack, aren't you? Well, look in his eyes. Just take one good damn look in his eyes. He's on crack. What's happening? What's your name? John Sally and Lawrence Taylor. They're on crack. Look at them. Smoking the crack. What are you smoking over there, ma'am? Marlboro Light. So there's no problem there. You two dating? Your friends. Sexually? Sexually active, huh? I want your sex. Me. I want your sex. All right, we've got more people coming down here. Hi, how are you? Are you a plant? My name is Al. Al? Al and who? Al and Michelle. How long have you been dating Al and Michelle? First day. Couple of minutes, huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. You're going to be on the show 60 minutes. Um, didn't I see on the Playboy channel? Yes, I was uh, the naked man without the penis. That was me. What's your name? Are you drinking and driving? No, I'm not. I don't drink. Do you smoke crack? No, I don't. I hope you're not smoking crack. Driving along, smoking crack like a madman. What's your name? Greg. Greg. Where do you go to school, Greg? I don't go to school. What do you do for a living? Uh, I own a uh, auto alarm company. An auto alarm company. Can you turn your alarm on for us right now? Uh, only if I turn my engine off. Turn it off. Let's see it. He's going to turn the alarm off. He's going to turn the alarm on. Here, here we go. Door's locked. Okay. That is beautiful. And for some of you folks out there that want an auto alarm, where can we get that auto alarm from? Auto tech alarms. Auto tech alarms. Here's a lollipop for you. And do you care? Yes, I do. You do? Then get out of here if you care. We don't want people caring. We want people that don't care. Ding, ding, ding. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Go through the red light. Don't worry about it. <laughs> What do you have there? What do you have? You're walking with the big wheel. How come? Can we put one of these kids on it? Oh my God. Hi, how are you? I want you say. Huh? I want to learn. Sing me a song. Um, but what do you want me to sing? Anything. Um, um, doing the bucks. Oh, okay. Doing the bucks. Yep. Don't be doing it in the butt. That's not right. What are you doing? Excuse me? What are you doing? Talking to people. What do I see? You have tickets in your hand? Yeah. Are you scalping tickets? Oh, no. Is he scalping tickets? I think so. Yeah? Are you going to take a ticket? How much are you selling the tickets for? What are you selling the tickets for? <laughs> this guy's a scalper right here. Get out of here. Scalping tickets like a nut. That's not right. Oh, boy, oh, boy. This was too much fun. This was too much. Excuse me, please. Oh, my God. I'm going upstairs. I gotta go up. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. You guys are San Francisco. Thank you once again. Good night, everybody.